Hey guys, what's up? I'm up Monroe Park. I just finished flying the DJI FPV. Great flight. We've got the Wakira T210 Mini here, which has a new firmware update finally, and it does look decent on the FPV feed, so let's hope they fix this camera. Let's check our options here. Okay, we're in 4K. Uh, 4K 30. Fit. We're in HD. Let's start recording. Start record video. And uh, let's get this bird in the air. So hopefully the camera is fixed. Let's hope anyway. On my scroll wheel here. Ah, uh, yeah, I can see the exposure was changing there as I moved up and down. Let's take the drone out. It looks okay on my FPV feed. So hopefully uh, they fix this. I just had a little bit of lag there. Well, let's hope they fix this, guys. It looks okay. So is it going to be worthy to buy now for you guys? Turn around and uh, look into the sun here. That camera up just a little bit. The colors seem to look okay, but it's uh, it's just about evening here, guys. Sunset. And the sun is gone over that hill. It's actually, there it is. It's in the clouds. It does look okay so far. Uh, we'll see how it is when I get home. But I'm not noticing uh, a lot of purplish hue like there was. So hopefully they fixed it. And I can't tell you what they added in the update because it was all written in Chinese. And I'm using the iPad here guys because my phone, the FPV feed on the phone, it was like it minimized a lot smaller. And I can't figure out how to blow it back up. So I'm going to have to play around with it on the iPhone and see if I can make that screen bigger again. But it seems to look okay right now. You guys are seeing what I'm seeing here. And sorry I'm not doing a screen recording. But we are recording on the drone so you're going to see that. Just trying to hold the iPad down so you guys aren't getting nothing but an iPad view. But yeah, guys, it uh, it looks okay to me right now. Colors are much, much better than what they were. Looks 100% better to me. I'll let you guys decide. Like I said, when I get at home put it in the editor it's probably going to look a little different it may look a little better it may look a little worse but from this FPV feed it does look pretty good so we'll have to see what it's like on a nice bright sunny day too so right off the bat here where's that sun right there yeah, the exposure is changing. You can see how that came in when I popped the camera up. I'm going to stop recording. And we're going to flick stop the camera on. And we'll snap a picture. There we go. Let's check the camera settings again. Uh, we're going to turn the 48 megapixel on. And we'll snap a picture. Okay, that's working. Let's go back to video and start recording start record video it's actually working in the 48 megapixel now too it actually looks a lot clearer now that i turn that on turn the 48 megapixel on you see how that exposure is changing and now it's not changing okay it did change there it changed let's pop 
pop that up there we go guys so it's working it's much much better than what it was before much better we're down to 77 percent battery now you can see the little bit of lag I'm experiencing as I'm turning there now I'm wondering how you fly this like a uh, FPV style like it showed in their uh, that little ad I seen on YouTube I think I posted the link to that the last video I made about this guys if you can fly that drone like that it'll be amazing let's bring it down here I'm gonna pop it in the sport mode and see how it reacts so I know the last time I put this in sport mode it was like dipping like it wanted to go into the ground it's actually stop there we'll click it on sport It's pretty fast, I can tell you that, guys. It is a very fast drone. I think this is even faster than the Femi Mini. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, that camera looks much better. Much, much better. It's a big improvement. I'll get myself in view here for you guys. But to me right now, it looks like it is a very big major improvement. There you go. Looks pretty good. Even the colors are good. There's not too much yellow. And all of that purplish hue is gone. That's full stick forward. It, it it's just, seems like it's an FPV drone when you're flying cruising forward and that drone really tips down at some angle guys right now I've got it uh, just circling around I'm gonna show you guys if I can if I can get my camera up that high now let's bring it down a bit I'm gonna do the uh, maneuver I was just doing see that it's pretty quick wow It does kind of fly like an FPV drone. <laughs> but uh, I'm not sure how you would do flips and such with it. But it's a big improvement, guys. It's a big improvement. So now would I recommend picking it up? I would say... You know, it's... Uh, It's a hard one to uh, for me to tell you guys to buy it. I mean, it's very fast. It now films decent. If they can fix that lag, I would say yes, buy it. For sure, buy it. But I, I can't see you getting five kilometers or whatever the range is on this. That's full stick forward, guys. It's pretty quick. I'm guessing probably 18 meters per second. Let's see here. Uh, it's not registering how fast it's going. Now it doesn't tell you the speed. But pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this here. I mean, uh, it's all I really wanted to see. 
Let's do the circle here. Circle flight mode. I just turned circle on. There we go. So it's now circling. Can you slow it? Yeah, you can. Actually stopped us. There we go. Sport it's back in GPS. Okay, guys, I'm going to bring this in. I hope you enjoyed today's little flight. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing. Leave a like and a comment, all that good stuff. And until the next one, peace out. Catch you later.